All right, everybody. All right. Good morning and happy Monday. Let's get into the chat or the app. So wherever you are looking at, and let's go over what we're going to do today. So we're going to start off with one minute of cardio. We're then going to go right into two minutes, okay? Two-minute AMRAP, and we're just going to keep on going round and round until we finish that two minutes. But it's going to be 20 jumping jacks, 10 air squats, and then five up-downs. And then immediately following into that, we're going to go into another two minutes, and we're going to grab a rope or imaginary rope, and we're going to do single skips. We're going to go 10 air squats, and then we're going to go five burpees, okay? So we're going to essentially progress in our warm-up. So again, that's going to be where we're going to start with five minutes. Eva and Karen, welcome back. Glad to have you back to the grind. All right. Well, I'm going to start my clock, you guys. You guys get self set for some cardio. And we're going to start this party off in three, two, one, and begin. So it's Monday, everybody. We talk about this in the morning. So just setting your, your intentions for your workout today. Are we here to push it? Are we here to move? And there's three checkoffs that you've already done, right? You woke up early, you logged on, and you're doing work. So those are three bulletproof points right there, you guys, that you guys mean business this morning. All right, so we are 40 seconds into it. We're going to do this about 20 more seconds. All right, let's go ahead and transition in five, four, three, and rotate. All right, you guys, 20 jumping jacks, 10 air squats, and then five up downs so the only thing that we're changing right we have two two minute segments popping up is we're going to change the jumping jacks into jump rope or toe taps if we need an alternative all right eva that was cool to see about ryan this weekend so cool that kid puts in so much work, you know? So you can see he was super proud. And Stan's here. Good morning, Stan. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the workout in the chat for you, Stan, so you can see it. All right, everybody, we have one more minute. So Stan, what we're doing right now is 20 jumping jacks, 10 air squats, and then five up-downs. We have less than a minute here. There you go. Just getting that blood flow going. Good work. All right. 30 more seconds, and then we're going to transition into our last two-minute segment which as a reminder is going to be 20 single unders or 20 toe taps on a dumbbell, 10 air squats, and then five burpees. Okay, 15 seconds, everybody. Eva, I was talking with Nick. He told me he's 26 pounds down. Yeah. All right, three, two, one. All right, let's turn it right into jump rope. All right, we're gonna do single skips or toe taps. Here we go. Gonna get 20 of these. We'll then go right into your 10 air squats. Really push those hips back, push those knees out. Give a slight pause, maybe at the bottom of your hips are feeling tight and then get out of there and stand up tall. And then you'll have five burpees after that. Good work, you guys.
All right, one more minute. Good. Remember, if you guys find a spot that you need to stretch out just a little bit more, by all means, do it. Hang out in that position. You go ahead and get out of it. All right, we got 20 seconds, everybody. go there we go all right here we go we're finishing up strong you guys three two one and stop all right well let's go ahead you guys go over grab some water I talk about this a lot, you guys, but the importance of hydrating and getting enough water in your body. You know, the basics, what we're always looking for, you guys, is half your body weight in ounces. Um, but if we're able to kind of exceed that, I really, really encourage you guys to hit a gallon a day. That's, that's the goal. If you guys want a game plan of how to break that day up and how to make sure you hit that number, uh, let me know. But water is the, uh, it's the na nature's weight loss secret that not a lot of people know about. So, all right, you guys, so we're going to move into the full body strength, okay? So we're going to do five sets, and we're going to spend time with two movements. And so we're going to be doing one minute of dumbbell goblet squats, and we're going to do it slow, right? Slow down, slow up. We're then going to, the next minute, do a minute of single dumbbell strict press. So what it's going to look like, you guys, is... With the goblet position, we're gonna let it sit, right? Dumbbell's gonna be straight up and down. And so everybody go ahead and grab yourself a dumbbell as we're going through this. Let it sit, widen up that base, and then let's get three of these. We're just gonna pull those hips back, down, hit that bottom position, and then stand up. Again, we're doing this in a slow speed, not a fast speed, okay? So let's get three of those. Okay, so that's gonna be movement number one. Now we're gonna change the position of the dumbbell. Both hands are gonna hold it across the chest. And from here, we're just gonna go ahead and press that dumbbell over your head, okay? So make sure your feet are hip width apart, right? Meaning your feet are under your hips, opposed to wide like we would do a squat. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, and squeeze your butt cheeks. I guess I should say your, your glutes, abs, and quads, and then press overhead, okay? So the thing that we're going to record today is going to be the weight that you use. So let's find one weight that you're going to use. Pick what you're going to squat with. Pick the same weight that you're going to, you're going to press with, and then we'll get going. All right. Well, let's go ahead, gather ourselves, right? Everybody looks like they have their dumbbell set. All right, you guys, we're gonna do five sets of this, okay? All right, here we go. In three, two, one, begin. Okay, so what I didn't tell you is that after each set, we are gonna rest a full minute, okay? We are gonna have a full minute break. And so what's gonna happen is we're gonna be here for 15 minutes. <clears throat> there we go. Good job. Take that deep breath, brace as you shift the tips back and down. And as you start to come up, then you're gonna let that air out. It's that. The quarter squat coming out of that squat that you're going to exhale, okay? A little bit more before you stand fully up, okay? All right, we're going to rotate in three, two, one, rotate. We're going to keep that dumbbell, put it across your chest, and then continue just to press that dumbbell overhead, 
Okay, so go ahead and press that dumbbell overhead. There we go. Okay, 30 more seconds. Good work, you guys. Nice and smooth and controlled. 15 seconds. All right. In three, two, one, rest. Okay, as a reminder, everybody, we're going to have a full minute break today right after every time that we finish the goblet squats and the strict press. And so something to think about, today's icebreaker is gonna be what, okay, what if this happened today would make it a great day? So think of one thing that you would like to happen today that would make it a great day for you. Okay, so I'll let you guys sit on that one. Obviously go into the chat, go into the comment when you're ready. I don't want to just slingshot this question at you and make you put you on the spot. All right, 20 Does seconds. We're going to get it done. <laughs> it could be. Yeah, it could be. It could be something that like. It would be great if my house magically got clean. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. I, hey, well, if, if interested, I do know of a gal who, who does clean house and uh, she's looking for more North County or South County clients. So if you're interested. All right, you guys, let's get it going. Back into that full minute. All right, take that deep breath, pull those hips back and down, and then exhale as you come up. Good. Think one breath, one rep. And if you can think of it like that, it's gonna pace you to control your breathing, okay? There we go. Yeah, so just to put it out there to clear it up, it's if this happens, right, fill in the blank, happened today, it would be a great day. And it could be things that are already scheduled in your day, but it still is going to make it a great day because you know it's going to happen, right? All right, three, two, one, and rotate. There we go. Good work, you guys. Okay. So you guys know what happens after this one. We get a full minute break. Okay, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rotate. All right. So we get that full minute break you now. Now, again, if you guys feel like you have come up with the answer, put in the chat or the comment. What? Fill in the blank. If this happened today, would make it a great day. Okay, we have 30 more seconds. We'll fill up something really quick. All right, we got 15 seconds. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and start round three in 10 seconds. So get yourself close to those dumbbells if you've walked away. Here we go. Three. Two and begin. All 
All right. Remember, pace that dumbbell, you guys, or that front squat. A slow squat, not meant to be a quick squat. When we do it slow, that burn seems to increase real quick. There we go. 20 seconds. All righty, here we go. Five, four, three, and rotate. All right, you guys, let's get those dumbbells. Put it across the chest and start pressing. All right. So Eva says, smoke clears. All right. And then Stan says, if I have time for everything I want to do. All right, all right. I like it. Okay, we're halfway through this minute, actually over halfway through this minute. Ten seconds. In three, two, one, rotate. Awesome, you guys. All right, here we go. We're gonna move right to that rest period. Yesterday was bizarre because Mount Shasta was so clear blue when we went to Mount Shasta, but Lake Shastina was still socked in. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. We, we went over to weed yesterday and it was just like so cloudy or so smoky over there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Crazy. Oh. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, we were talking about this today in my, my 6 a.m. class and it's just crushing people, especially people that have respiratory sensitivities. It's just crushing them. All right, guys, 10 seconds. We're going to start round four. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. All right, we are back into our next round, round four. You know, you're doing this right, you guys. Win those legs are on fire all right here we go 20 seconds All right, in three, two, one, rotate. All right, here we go, right into those strict presses now. All right, and then this just in from Miss Karen, if my health checklist gets done each day, it's awesome, and I've been crushing it, I must say. I fully agree with you, Karen. And uh, if you wanted to share any of your progress, let me know because you're crushing it. All right, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. All right, here we go in five, four, three, and rotate. All right, rotate into your rest station. All right, guys, we have one minute of rest, and then we are going 
to finish up our last round. All right, 15 seconds. So as some of you guys know, my son Elijah is in Japan right now. And I always, I'm like, what time is it? Because his birthday was on Sunday, like yesterday. But it was Saturday for us. But it's Sunday for him. So anyways, I was getting all messed up. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. All right, front squats, everybody, or goblet squats, everybody. And he showed me this widget I could download. So now I can put it on my phone and I can always see what time it is in Japan. And all I have to say is, <coughs> excuse me, look at the time and say, it's tomorrow. So here we are. I felt like an old man texting my son. What day is it at your place? You know, he's like, geez, dad. <laughs> All right, here we go. 20 seconds. All right. Karen just put her results in. So as of February, she is down 52 pounds. Hard work, hard work put in. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, you guys are gonna go move right into your strict presses. Yeah, it's been really neat, uh, Karen, to, to know all the work that you're doing, the consistency that you're doing, the routine that you've built for yourself. So good. Okay, here we go, 30 seconds. Come on, keep it moving, guys. Keep it moving. Remember, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those quads, and squeeze those abs. That on itself is going to keep everything super tight, so then you can focus on pressing those dumbbells overhead. All right, here we go, everybody. Three, two, one, and stop. Beautiful, you guys. All right, so... What I'd love to see is I'd love to know the dumbbell, excuse me, the weight that you use for this piece. If you use the same weight, just type in the, the weight of the dumbbell or the kettlebell. And if you actually alternated between weight, go ahead and tell me which weight you did for each movement. Okay. So as you guys are doing that, let's go ahead and start to talk about what is happening next so we're going to do our full body workout we're going to spend 23 total minutes here today you guys we're going to do 10 minutes we have a 10 minute amrap so we're going, to, we're going to stay here and do as many rounds as possible for 10 minutes we're then going to rest one full minute and then we're going to move ourselves into a 12 minute imam so every minute on the minute for 12 minutes we'll be doing some movement so for the 10 minute one you guys we're going to do 30 double unders Okay, it could be two things. 30 double unders, so that's where we're gonna jump with our jump rope, one jump, two revolutions with the rope, or we can do a tall jump, or again, we could do those toe taps. Okay, that's gonna be your choice on that, 30 of those. And then we're gonna go right into 20, I'm sorry, 15 single dumbbell push presses, and then 10 up downs. So we're still gonna use that dumbbell. You can probably go a little bit heavier, which I'm gonna recommend. And then we're going to do a push press. So you just want to dip and drive. And that drive is you simply standing up to get that dumbbell over your head. So as you dip, you guys, make sure that torso is vertical. Feet are going to stay flat. And then you're going to punch that dumbbell over your head. Okay? So from there, we're going to go right into our up-downs, what we were doing in the warm-up. So let's go through those movements real quick, you guys. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get five skips, tall jumps, toe taps, 
We're then going to go right into two of those single dumbbell push presses and then go ahead and just do one up down. Let's move in the sequence, like the movements that we're about to do and then the sequence that we're about to move in. And then we'll get ready to rock and roll. Party all night long, every day. All right. Awesome work. Looks like Karen's using a 25 pound dumbbell. Eve is using 25 dumbbell for the squats, 20 for the press. Dan, Stan's using a 25 and then Stan says to Karen, kudos, great work. Woo -woo. All right, you guys, well, let's get this party started. We're gonna start ourselves off. Okay, here we go. Jump rope, 30 double unders, toe taps, or tall jumps. Here we go. In three, two, one, begin. Okay, so reminder, we're gonna be here for 10 minutes. So what I'd love to see is a pace that you can hold for the 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes, it's kind of like that in-between time. It's like, it's just long enough to be completely exhausting if we go out of the gate too hard. Right, so it's, it's not too long, but it's definitely not too short either, okay? And then just with the push presses, not to be con confused with a full squat, okay? It's just letting those knees bend, okay? Now, we're keeping track of our rounds. So that's one thing that I want you to keep track of. Now, there's a lot of ways that you can do that, right? There are apps. There's notebooks, right? Every time that you complete a round, you just mark it in your notebook. But whatever it is for you, um, just to keep track of it. You know, it's important that we're here. It's important that we got up and checked in and, and we're working out. So might as well just keep track of what we're doing. So we got those 30 double unders or tall jumps or toe taps, 15 of those push presses, and then 10 up downs. There you go. Looks like everybody's got a solid pace that allows them to stay moving. <clears throat> there we go. Good. Just thinking about one rep at a time, you guys. The moment you just do one, go ahead and do another. All right, we are just short of four minutes. Give yourself that goal, get through a round, 
Once you get to that round, give yourself that goal again. Do another round. we go getting right into it nice job good job making sure that those heels land on the floor each time Good. Be sure to grab some water, guys. Wipe that brow when you need it and then get right back into it. But just know, right, the more we sweat, right, the more actually water we need in our system. So pound that water as much as possible, guys. Kind of a common conversation I have with a lot of people is the difficulty of getting that much water in your body. Um, and what I do is I use an app that's called drink water, pretty crazy. Um, but it's an app out there that you can, that you can just download and you can keep track of the amount of water that you take in each day. So, you know, each time that you, you know, drink 12 ounces or, you know, whatever you drink, right. You just mark it down and then you can literally see, uh, the body, it's an empty body, get full with water. So you can set your goals. You can set your, uh, your, your daily reminders, right? So it can actually have a personalized message like, hey, Scott, step it up. Or, hey, Scott, don't forget it's beach season, you know? So I may or may not have that last month. So, but it's a neat thing of like attaining a goal. So it makes it kind of like a game opposed to like, oh my gosh, 128 ounces. That's so much water. It is a lot of water, but not if you chip away at it. Good work. All right, guys, we've just hit minute seven. So we have three more minutes in this time period. We are going to get one full minute break. And during that minute break, I am going to break down what we are doing. There we go. Okay, two minutes. Looking good, you guys. All right. There you go, nice job. Once you guys finish that last round, Get back into that next round because we want to try to get through that full round before the time expires. We have a minute 20 remaining. So keep driving, keep pushing until we get to our rest time. Okay. 
One minute, everybody. Remember, control those reps, right? Control your movement. Make sure we're in control. And at that point, then give that extra push for intensity. So I've shared this with you guys before, but we have this little acronym. It's called MCI. Um, maybe it's abbreviation, but it's mechanics, consistency, and then intensity. And so we always want to have the movement. We want to be able to do it awesome, right? And then we want to consistently work on that movement, doing consistently awesome. And then at that time, and only at that time, will we increase intensity? That's speed. That's going to be weight, right? That's going to be load. Um, and sometimes we get that out of control, out of order. So just, just as you remember, MCI, mechanics, consistency, intensity, always. All right, guys, let's finish up those reps. Here we go. Five, four three, and stop. Good job. Okay. Now we have a full minute break. Okay. Now what I'm going to have you guys do is I want you guys to give a little look what we're going to do. We're going to be doing a, a 12 minute EMOM every minute on the minute for 12 minutes. Minute one, we're doing weighted dumbbell sit-ups. Minute two, we're doing single dumbbell four presses. And then minute three, we're going to be doing 45 seconds of a squat thrust. So let's go over this really quick. We've done weighted sit-ups before. Okay. So dumbbell over your chest or even in kind of in an over position, we're just going to go up and down, you guys, up and down. Okay. From there, dumbbell is going to be across your chest and we're just going to be pressing. Okay. Then the third movement is going to be that squat thrust. We'll be in that high plank position, jump up into a squat, kind of like a frogger. And then we're going to jump ourselves right back out. All right. Well, here we go, you guys. Let's start those weighted sit ups in three, two, one, begin. Okay. So now we are in the second piece, as I promised. Okay. And we are just moving for 45 seconds. We're not tracking anything, all right? I just want you guys to move, okay? We're getting 45 seconds of weighted sit-ups, okay? We kind of bled a little bit into that pre, into this first round, so we're going to lose a little bit of it, but that's okay, okay? <clears throat> Three two, one, and rotate. Everybody stay on the floor. We're going to get ready to do some floor presses in three, two, one, and we're back. Okay. Now, if the dumbbells, for example, are too light, let's just say it's not heavy enough for you, you can definitely go into a single dumbbell floor press, meaning it's in one arm. And then the next round, we'll go ahead and alternate to the next side. So definitely your call on this piece. Okay. 45 seconds. All right. Three, two, one, and rotate. Nice job, you guys. All right, here we go. Let's get up. We're going to get in that high plank position. I'll do the first couple rounds or first couple minutes with you in that thrust, squat thrust in three, two, one, begin. Remember, we're going to start the push up. Jump up on your heels into a squat and then jump back. All right. Sit in that squat, land on those heels, and just keep it going. All right, if we need to step out, by all means, let's go ahead and step out. But make sure that midsection's tight. Make sure we're flat. Good. And then drop those knees to the ground if you need to catch your breath a little bit. And three, two, one, rotate. 
All right, you guys, here we go. Let's take it back to the floor. Weighted sit-ups. Three, two, one, begin. <clears throat> all right. We're back at it. We're going all the way down. We want to make sure that those shoulder blades touch the floor when we're down. And then as we come up, they're coming all the way to the arches of our shoes or they're touching the floor in front of us, right? So make sure we're giving ourselves a point of reference, right? Where we're starting, where we extend our, our arms behind us, and then we come back up. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one, rotate. All right, here we go. We're gonna go right in those floor presses. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. So we are back, you guys. Keep it flowing. Get those dumbbells to your chest. Come on. <clears throat> Three, two, one, rotate. All right, you guys, it's gonna come on up. We're gonna flip it on over into that push-up position or a tall plank, going right into that squat thrust. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. All right, so keep it moving, you guys. Give yourself a number that you're gonna go up to or you're going to chase. And then once you guys get to that number, either rest or keep on moving. All right, we're almost there in three, two, one, rotate. Okay. All right, we are back. Here we go, back to those weighted sit-ups. Let's take it to the floor. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, so let's keep that movement continual, all right? I'm gonna go all the way back with a deep breath and then a strong exhale as we come up to touch the floor. There we go. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, rotate. All right, you guys, we are gonna keep it on our back. We're gonna go right into that floor press. Remember, we can do both hands on the dumbbell or one dumbbell in each hand and one hand at a time. Three, two, one, begin. All right. Keep that dumbbell flowing, you guys.
three, two, one, and rotate. All right, here we go, you guys. Let's move it right into squat thrust. Three, two, one, begin. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Nicely done, jumping up into that squat on those heels. Keep those abs tight the whole time. There we go. 15 seconds, 15 seconds and we'll have one more round left. Five, four, three and rotate. Good work. Okie dokie, everybody. Let's take it to the floor. Last set. Three, two, one, and begin. Okay, we're going to be here for one, or far, sorry, not one minute, but 45 seconds. And then we will rotate. Okay, 15 seconds. And three, two, one, rotate. All right, here we go. Keep it on your back. We're gonna go right to those floor presses. Three, two, one, here we go. All right, you guys, getting that dumbbell on your chest, pressing it over your chest, and just keep that weight moving. Remember, the feet are going to be push, pushing against the floor. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those abs, and then press, right? You want to feel those chest muscles activating, coming into play. Okay, those are what's helping you right now. Okay. 10 seconds. And three, two, one, rotate. All right, last movement of this segment, going right into those squat thrust. Five, four, three, and begin. Okay. Jumping up, landing in that squat, and then stepping back or jumping out. <clears throat> good work, good work. Come on, keep it flowing, you guys. Fifteen seconds. And three, two, one. Rotate. Nice job. All right. Rotate to be done, everybody. Okay. So grab some water. Great time to start drinking that water right now. All right. And we are going to have a finisher. So we have one more piece left and then we are done for the day. So we're going to do five total sets, everybody. All right. We're going to do some single dumbbell bicep curls and we're going to be doing some overhead tricep, tricep extension. So grab the dumbbell of your choice. We're going to grab each head by, you know, each hand's going to have a head of the dumbbell tucking those elbows into the side. And we're just simply gonna move the dumbbell to the chest and then back down to your, to your thighs. All right, keeping those shoulders back. Now, when we go overhead, we can hold it the same exact way that we are holding the dumbbell for the dumbbell curls, or we can go ahead and hold it kind of like we would hold it for a goblet squat, but it's gonna be behind our head. Okay, so we're gonna go back and forth, you guys. 20 seconds. 
and then 10 seconds of a rest. All right, well, let's go, you guys. Three, two, one, and begin. Okay, so we got 20 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna hang out here for 20 seconds. Just keep it going, just nice and smooth. Should be using a weight that is allowing you to continually move. All right, two, one, and rotate. Okay, so I tend to just kind of let my dumbbells hang from my hips, going overhead, and begin. There we go. Just kind of let that dumbbell come behind and extend. Okay, we can hold it width-wise. Both hands have a hand on the dumbbell. We can go the long wise where it sits in between the palm. Three, two, one, rotate. All right, round one done. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. All right, so tucking those elbows into your side. Right, it's gonna allow you to isolate those biceps a little bit more, I mean, focus on those specific parts of your body. Right, every time that we flare those elbows out a little bit more, it kind of taxes those shoulders. Two, one, rotate. All right, here we go. Dumbbells overhead. Three, two, one, begin. Good work. Letting those dumbbells come back and then extend overhead. Try to keep those elbows tucked in, right? We don't want them flaring out too much. They don't have to be fully squeezing, but don't let them flare all the way out so you can hit those triceps. Two, one, and rotate. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's start round three. Bicep curls again. All the way down, all the way up. All right, keeping those shoulders back. So you can focus on that dumbbell hitting your quads, coming right up to your shoulders. Good. Two, one, and rotate. Okay, let's get those dumbbells overhead. Three, two, one, begin. All right. Good, take that deep breath, hold it as it goes down, exhale as it goes up. Three, two, one, rotate. All right, last round everybody, tuck those elbows into your side. Three, two, one, begin. All the way up and down everybody. Good, just keeping those shoulders back, abs are tight, all the way up, all the way down. Three, two, one, rotate. So that's the last time that we're there. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. So here we go, guys, last time, getting those tricep extensions come on 10 seconds you guys we're doing great three two one and stop good work today you guys well we did it yeah well monday we showed up we made it happen let me get the clock going really quick there we go. Good. Those arms should be pumped really good right now for a bicep curl. So, or a flex, I should say. All right, you guys, here we go. Three, two, one. And we're done, you guys. Give me a high five. Good job for showing up. Good job for doing the work. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Charlie will see you here tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys. Yeah.